My name is Ray J, singer, songwriter, actor, and platinum selling artist. I've had a lot of success and made a lot of money. I love the ladies, and the ladies love me. But after years of being a Hollywood player, maybe it's time to get serious and find that girl who can make me change my ways. Maybe. All right, the first night in the house was insane. Before I even met the girls, they start partying right away. <laughs> she went straight for the You know, drinking that much led to some stupid things. I mean, you remember trouble, right? Our shots for everyone, all day, every day. She's, she's like totally Yeah, what is it? What is it? Vodka. Vodka. Like, Rachel, where's yours? They're right here. And you remember how much trouble she got into after she started drinking. I'm not the only one that was turned off by the excessive partying. I think that travel feel that like she's boring, so she needs a drink <laughs> a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I was actually just lost. I'm like, what are they doing? Hi, me. As far as trouble goes, I'm disgusted by her. We gotta take those. Stop your breath. Stop your breath. done talking, really. Mm. Seriously. Oh my god. Your hair is a mess. Your face is a mess. <laughs> You're gonna see how you embarrass yourself on camera. I never um, asked you to talk to me on my I'm just asking, asking you to come out of my bathroom. That's all I'm saying. I'm not the one. I'll see you on her. I need you. Okay. Well, you're gonna be her lights off. Listen, baby, we don't need to get that drunk to have a good time. In fact, one of the things that we loved to do the most in the crib was dance. I just want to dance for some reason. Oh, they must be dropping it like it's hot up in here. I know. All right, so most of the girls didn't have to get drunk to have a good time. Most of them just wanted to dance. Extra loved to dance, and she loved to be the center of attention. I mean, that girl had a lot of personality, even from day one. My name is Charmisa. I've been a cheerleader for 16 years. L E T S G O. Let's go. We did that one. Oh. I remember that one. I like shopping. I'm a choreographer. I like poetry. Poetry in motion. You can definitely get into my club. This is spicy. No, it's no. It's really I mean, it is, but I mean, why is my throat burning? Maybe you got a really sensitive throat. Wow. That's no, I don't, I don't have a sensitive throat. <laughs> My throat is not sensitive. No, mine is not either. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with this personality that this girl had was the other persons in the house was a little bit pissed off, and it rubbed them the wrong way. Too much makeup heavy, big ass hair, long ass legs, no ass having bitch. She's hating already. Look at her hair. What, what the hell is that? Oh, come on, girl. Bitch. You need a freaking makeover. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Sit down. We just I got know. here. I know. Oh, okay. okay. She's being a wow. bitch. Are you? Real hair. I don't have real hair. I don't like hers. What's she? <laughs> Everybody here can see that my hair is not real, right? So why waste your time? My hair is real. I'm like, her, bitch. Go back to Africa. <laughs> and you know it wasn't just from day one. You know, extra was extra with everybody. I think no, you're, you're fine. I'm trying to get attention or something. You always... Yeah. <laughs> she calls you an attention. Yeah. I don't try to get attention. Yes. Yeah, OK, mm -hmm. how, is, how is that, Exotica? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see oh, Ray. Oh, OK, let me put my booty shorts on. So we're all in the kitchen, 
and Exotica calls me fake, and I'm like, oh, really? Bitch, I'm not fake. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. if, I was, yeah. if I was extra, it's really getting on my nerves. I'm like, she's still here? She needs to go. I can't stand her. Like, oh, she makes me throw up. Hey, no, I'm not fake, and yeah. you don't know me, so until What's you get difference? to that bitch, she's You're a fake ass bitch. bitch. I have to walk away from that. She really wants to see extra, so I'm gonna give it to her. So I'm hearing all this commotion, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? What the hell are you doing? What the hell out of here? Please talk to my hand, hand OK? Please just talk to my hand. hand. What? Y'all all right? All right, y'all, welcome back to the For the Love of Ray J Part 2, exclusive edition with me, your boy. You know what? I had a lot of interesting date with these girls, and there were places that I would never have thought I would take these girls. Here's one that I never got to show y'all. Check this out. I want to welcome y'all to Crazy Girls. This is Nicole. She's a vertical pole instructor. So the girls walk in, and they're a little nervous because they're thinking, damn, Ray J, you taking us to a strip club? Nah, baby. I'm taking you to aerobic classes at the strip club. So today we're going to learn some sexy dance moves. We're not going to be strippers today. We're just going to have something fun, learn how to keep our man happy and satisfied at home. Okay. Yeah. We're going to keep it very PG. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. Coming to the stage, flossy and platinum. I'm already loving it. So you're holding it up right there, and then your right leg is going to lift up on the side like a dog pissing on the tree. OK? Like a what? Put this leg in front. Cross it down, cross it down, cross it down in front like this. Like this. But it started off kind of slow. Put your legs come up towards the pole. Let me see. Hold on. Cross it like right there, right there. Cross it, cross it, cross it. Drop that. it. Drop it, girl. Drop it. There you go. <laughs> Real slow. Bend that leg, the back leg. So your back leg. Bend your back leg. No, no, your back one. You guys need some more champagne. I mean, the girls needed some time to work that pole. But once they found their rhythm on that pole, I was like, whoa. Just drop the hips down from side to side. Put your sexy face on now. There you go. They got into it. And man, oh man, that these girls really work hard for me. Dropping it like it was hot, bringing it back up like it not. Man, dog. Go ahead, girl. Yeah. Keep your close. Take okay. it upside <laughs> down. <laughs> Great date, date was great, great date. Date was great, great date. Great, 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 great. Great, 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 great. Great, 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 great. date was great. Date was great, great was date. Date was great. <laughs> but there was one date that wasn't so great. Lava. So right now I'm about to show you this extended scene to just really show you how weird it was. You sure you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Huh? <laughs> I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. You don't want to talk about nothing? Um, no. Huh? By the end of the day, I didn't feel good. Not sure what's going on. All this stuff just start going in my head, like, um, I don't like this. What are you thinking about? I don't like the whole emotional thing, so I'm just, like, trying to hide. You sure? I'm fine. <laughs> All right, all right, I understand it's tough sometimes to just come out and tell somebody how you feeling, but come on. I'm really trying to make this girl feel comfortable and open up to me, you know? Talk to me. Let me know what's happening. What are you thinking about? I don't know. It's hard to express. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm having a hard time. Because I'm you were little, affected by something. I'm a little, I don't want to talk out here. I'm paranoid. I don't like to talk out here. I want to know how you feel. When you feel like telling me, then come tell me. Because I'm waiting. Listen, I'm a patient man. But I don't read minds. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you how I am, OK? Tell me how you well, feel. Well, you have to put me in the right setting and the right I comfort understand. zone. I understand. I'm trying to really figure out what's wrong and trying to really understand, understand where you're coming you from. I understand and I appreciate your concern. I, I didn't All just I ask. Asked, I asked like I 150 know. times. I, I wasn't in the right comfort zone. So now I'm ready to hop in the pool. Communication is about timing. And I just spent a whole hour trying to get this girl to communicate with me. Now, I'm ready to have fun, you know. 
I felt like I tried. And now you want to talk to me? This is not about them tonight. So you're keeping your ass up here, if you don't mind. I would prefer you stay up here. Wait a minute. Are you telling me where I can and can't go? You're not trying... I'm trying it's hard. More. No, you're not. You're I, not trying well, hard. Well, then, obviously, I'm not to you because I'm trying very hard. Not trying hard? Girl, do I other don't things. feel it, though. Well, you're I'm trying. trying hard. I'm trying super hard. I done tried harder than ever. Your body language alone speaks differently because I, I, I can't even open up it and just break it down. I can't break it down because you know why? It hurts me to break it down like that. I don't want to come out and say what I really want to say. Then that's the problem. Because I'm coming out saying everything I want to say. You didn't put me in my comfort zone. So you still not comfortable? You're standing up. It's like I have to. Okay. Listen, baby. Listen. Hold on, baby. Listen. Listen. I'm a. Listen. Listen to me, baby. Oh my God. Listen. Now Lava wasn't the only girl with an attitude. You remember the Wolf Pack, right? Heartbreaker, Platinum, and Luscious. They love stirring up trouble in the house with all the other girls. You know that was their forte. You coming in here charging me up about me being sick? Sorry. What the fuck is that? Who came at you on this? So I asked you how you were doing. That's what I asked you. So extra. Uh, yeah. How are you feeling? So because I heard you tell people. people I heard you tell people that, yeah, exactly. that I got you hurt. You feeling extra? I'm feeling fine. I'm, I'm feeling fine. Thank you. I'm feeling fine. Thank you. We're the Wolfpack. We're just like ripping people new whatever in the house. Everyone's intimidated by us. We run everything. I, I, I'm Betty like motherfucking Will. You want to break down the table? Let's do it. Let's do it. This is Let's break down the table. What's up? Let's break down the table. What's up? Down the table. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Who are you trying here. to intimidate, Miss Hunt? Yeah, you want fake game? You know, want nobody fucking like you, Miss Hunt? You know, I don't give shit. But you in your ball head. Wolfpack, they always had a target. They always zoomed in to somebody in the house. I'm just gonna ignore the... <laughs> We're really bored right now, and we need someone to torture, so the one person we all find really annoying is Exotica. I just need to go put on some more tanning stuff right now and some more bronzer. I'd rather have a fake tan than a fake personality. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you gotta be mm, real yeah. or fake. Mm, yeah. You know, for sure. to be fake. At least we're here, like, trying, like, to be Ray's girl. You're just yeah, trying to be here because I'm you think he try. wants a party You're girl. Here. I don't even know him at all. He oh, doesn't even know, know you. Him. Oh, my he God. He just told you, you that. You're a fan. You're a fan. That's he why he just fucking fuck. told you that he doesn't know anything about you. You bitch. That's fine. Just shut the fuck up. Yeah, you shut the Nobody fuck cares up. about anything you have to say. You're fucking demental. You're oh, fucking please. delusional. Go take your pills, Exotica. <laughs> Jeez, you're psycho. The wolf packs is just ridiculous and immature. But well, I don't care. I don't deal with ghetto bitches. Disgusting, reindeer. <laughs> I don't have to fucking walk around naked seven days a week. Take your ass home. Like, get your hands off of him. You don't even fucking know anything about him. They stay for deer catching. Dude, why would you want to fuck with us? Seriously. Because she's stupid. I mean, the wolf pack was a little crazy, but Heartbreaker, she was the one that was the most vocal. She had one phrase that she loved saying more than anything. You're a fake asshole. You're a fake asshole. How do you like that? You want more? I just think it's fucked up that other bitches want to be fake. I'm not going to be fake, and if I don't like someone, I'm going to let them know. You're fake. She's a fake ass. Don't be connected to this little girl. She's so fake. She's faker than extra's wig. I don't want to talk to this fake ass bitch who fucking is a little girl, and I'm a grown ass woman. Well, they're both like fake to me. You can't say I'm fake. I'm not yeah. flossy. Flossy's fake as fuck. Yeah. She's fucking fake. Awesome. I can't wait to tell Danger that you're a fake ass stupid. Sorry for all the yelling, by the way, but that bitch is fake as fuck. Welcome back to For the Love of Ray J's exclusive special. You know, I always tried to go out and do it big. So, you know, I always tried to take the girls out on great dates. Good boy. Wow, this is so pretty. That's how they used to roll in the wild, wild west. Even the time when I took Luscious out. And, you know, I felt like the date was going good, you know. But, you know what? Luscious wasn't the sharpest blonde in the house. Would it be mean to say I'm writing on steak? No, that's cows. <laughs> Luscious had some trouble with the farm animals that day. 
Hey, sweetie pie. <laughs> <laughs> Tickles. Hi, baby. Luscious got you. Oh, hey, boy. sweetie pie. Oh, good thing they don't have teeth. They do. I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. I don't feel it. Oh, le hey, let's just say, good thing they don't have teeth. <laughs> oh, I don't feel it. She's a sweet girl, you know, but she was a little bit out of it. <laughs> So much fun. I feel it in my tummy. So bored and I'm so fat. What were the 70s about, anyways? What is today, Monday? Uh, Tuesday. Already? You all do that, Kurt! <laughs> kiss me, kiss me. Oh. Sexy girl. Hi, <laughs> Ray. <laughs> you want to kiss me? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you know what? There was one girl in the house that I always had fun with. Always laughed. Always joked around. I didn't understand her too much, though. You know I like helping you learn all that like slang. Learn English with Ray. Yeah, you learn, <laughs> you learning some broken English with me. <laughs> You know I always want you to keep it 100. To keep what? Keep it 100. Honey? Honey. Honey? This is my personal chef, Bonnie. Like a Bonnie Clay? Bonnie and Clyde, not Bonnie oh. Clyde. But it's Bonnie and then it's Clyde. And Clay. Oh. And Clyde. So okay. it's, it's two people. <laughs> All right. 100%. OK. Let me hear you say that. I don't speak English, but I'm not stupid. I need to keep it 100. <laughs> Getting it popping, Kelly. Getting it popping. Getting it popping. Like getting, like getting, you, you get in, getting, and then you're it, and then you're getting it popping. Getting it popping. Like getting it cracking. <laughs> I don't know exactly what is keeping cracking. I don't know. I need to investigate. Getting it popping and getting it cracking. That's the same keeping thing. Like, He's my best teacher for English. By the time you finish with me, you're going to know all the hood slang. You know what the hood is? No, what is the hood? You don't know what the hood is? Hood is? The hood is the ghetto. The ghetto? You been to the ghetto? You never know. The hood is the ghetto. The ghetto is like the projects. Oh, yeah, I understand. You know a project? Yes. What's the project? Like uh, that you expect when you do something? Huh? No, no the projects. The hood, the ghetto. You know what the ghetto is, right? You, got, you know what the ghetto is. Yes, I know. Oh, you playing around. You have to know what the ghetto is. I tried to teach her some slang, you know, from my culture. And in return, she tried to, you know, show me what she was talking about. Mira lo que tengo para ti. Mira lo que tengo para ti. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, baby? I don't know what you're saying, baby. You say, look that I have for you. <laughs> look what I have for you. Mira lo que tengo. Mira lo que tengo. I can't Mira lo que tengo for you, baby. I mean, that phrase she showed me was so sexy. I had to put it to some music. Mira lo que tengo. Mira lo que tengo. Mira lo que tengo. Mira lo que tengo. For you, baby. For you, baby. Caliente. Caliente. Yeah. I said, mira lo que tengo. For you, baby. Mira lo que tengo. For you, babe. For you, baby. Mira lo que tengo. Mira lo que tengo for you, babe. This one is perfect. You know what? Me and Caliente, we might not understand each other all the way, but there's one girl that you'll never, ever misunderstand. Danger. Hi, welcome to Juvenile Shop, LA's premier boutique. Monica Danger. Anna, how can I help you today? 
We are just looking for some stuff. I'm having a baby girl. Oh, so these congratulations. Are my friends, and they're going to help me find some oh. cute stuff for her. Fun. Ray is so sweet. He decided to um, have the girls help me set up my baby registry. Let's get started. What type of stuff do you like? I don't know. Here's a challenge. Okay, just bring me the cutest thing for a girl, okay? Anything. Go. Now. My plan is to push their buttons, break them down, and see who can handle it. Oh, gosh. I don't know anything about you. I don't know how to shop for babies. I've never had one. I'm just so lost right now. I've never had a baby before. I don't even know what newborns need. But if Ray asks us to, I'm there. You can They have it in pink. Um, this color or the white? I don't like those colors. Yeah, those are ugly. They're fucking ugly. My baby's not even born yet, and she doesn't even like the girls. No, it's ugly. No, I don't think so. No, I think that's kind of weird. I don't know if I like like holding my baby with an oven mitt. Take that off. Why would it be black? I have a car seat. Oh, in the bathtub? I have one. Are you guys almost done? Wake me up when you guys are done. Take forever. I'm just freaked out right now because it's not just danger we're dealing with. It's danger and her baby. Exotica, look live. Look alive, girl. We're baby shopping. Who knows what kind of powers her baby has? No, pink. They don't have pink. Everything though. has to be pink. All right, y'all, welcome back to the For the Love of Ray J Part 2, exclusive edition. All right, so there were times when I was on dates and the other girls was back at the crib. What I didn't know is what they were planning when I wasn't around. All right, so what do you want to do when he gets home? I'm gonna like lure him into his room. Ray's out on his date right now with Platinum and me and Luscious decide that we wanna do something so that we can spend some time with him alone tonight. Maybe we should like massage him. Let's do it. Just us two. So what are you gonna do? Just give him like a massage? Mm -hmm. While Ray is on his date with Platinum, me and Exotica decide that, you know, we're gonna give Ray a massage. <laughs> what? Whatever plans y'all have, y'all better get in there before Luscious and Heartbreaker uh, do. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. What are they doing? I don't know. Oh, yeah? Okay, so <laughs> what is this? Mm -hmm. Heartbreaker and Luscious are gonna do the same thing. The race is gone. So, good luck. All right, so how are we gonna do this? We should, like, turn off the lights, put on some candles, massage hands. So we'll grab him, we'll be like, great, we want to give you a massage. This is so funny. Mm -mm. No? What do we do? We have something sexy planned for you. We're going to have champagne, yeah. cream, and strawberries. Uh, so we got to put candles in his room and stuff. Let's go. <laughs> Somebody in the bed? No. no. Oh, I thought you guys were doing some cranky shit. No. <laughs> Exotic and Flossy are being really weird right now. I'm starting to get freaked out. Go brush your teeth. He's home. Hi, guys. Ray, my friend, my roommate wants to say hi to you. Is it? Yep, they're home. Uh, home. So, me and the just were talking, and we want to give you a massage tonight. Yeah, I do. Free. Can we do that? Sounds, sounds pretty fun. What's up, man? Hi. When Ray gets home, me and Exotica try and talk to him. I told Platinum I was going to just chill, watch a movie with her tonight. And he basically, like, blew us off. So, you know, me and Exotica are pretty bummed that, you know, we're not going to get to do our plan for him. When I got back to the house, a lot of girls had things planned for me, you know. A couple of girls wanted to do a two-on-one massage. But since the day went so well with Platinum, I just wanted to hang out with her in my room and just watch movies and just kick it. I'm tired of all this two-on-two, three-on-three action. Like me and Platinum, we had a time at night. We was just vibing. What y'all think about that? What are we on? Did I just get shut down? I understand that where you're coming from, and I agree. It's up to you. Oh, that's totally cool. All right, so y'all remember when my friends came over to meet the girls, right? How you doing? Hi. Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> we was all just chilling by the pool, you know what I mean? We was having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 
I really do. And of course, one of the most entertaining parts of the day was the homie Tom Green. So this is a completely fake conversation we're having right now. We're not actually even talking to each other. No, we're not. No, we're like two robots no, sitting yes. here waiting for food to be shoved into our mouths. Y'all know Tom Green's a cool dude. Y'all just don't know how friendly this cat was to Luscious. There you go. Good times. How you guys doing? Yeah. I'm happy that this seems to be a very genuine uh, young lady that you found yourself here. Well, no, I really like her a lot. Very Ew. nice, very nice girl. Oh, you're gonna win, I'm sure. You seem like a very charming young lady. She needs another drink. Oh, Tom, Tom Green! I was having a good yes. fun with the ladies. Tom! Yeah. You can't take all of the ladies, man. No, we're just gonna go get in the pool. Yeah. Okay, what do you think about all the girls here? Um, I think that it's pretty awesome. I think you guys are all awesome. <laughs> I think you're the most awesome. You're my favorite. Yeah, I hope you lose. <laughs> you will take that as a compliment. Yeah, I hope you lose, because you're my favorite. And I want you to be single next week when Ray comes up to the house, so you can come up with Ray and whoever wins. No. And then we can all go and get sushi together. You like sushi? I love sushi, oh, but yeah. I don't yeah. ever know how oh. I can't even believe it. Tom is okay. in the pool with Luscious. All right. That was pretty good. We don't need any help here. <laughs> that, was, that was good, too. I think she likes you. She asked about you twice. I think she does, actually. Yeah. I think she does. Yeah, I can tell by the way she's looking at me. All right, having a friends over is always a good time. You never know what to expect. I mean, y'all remember Chardonnay, right? Hello, hello. But what y'all didn't see is when it really, really got interesting. Well, I'm here to um, talk to Ray. I have to see Ray. Where is he? So um, I'm here in his room. Okay, you'll show me where his room is? Please, please. please. Yeah. yeah. I'm back in the house once again because at this point, I know what Ray's looking for, and it's obviously not here. It's right over there. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Chardonnay. Hi, Ray. So Chardonnay comes into the house, and I'm thinking, what's up, homie? What's the matter? What you feeling right now? I came here, honestly, to look out for you, get the dirt on the girls, and let you know. But when I saw you, instantly, it was chemistry. And I can't deny what I'm, what I'm feeling. So I'm willing to come here and fight for you if you let me. Damn, Chardonnay. Chardonnay tells me that she wants to come back into the house and fight for my love right now. I might as well just lay it all out there, let you know what's up. And if you accept it and feel the same way about me, that's cool. If not, then I get the closure that I need, you know, to, to move on. And why would you want to do all that? To fight for you. Wow. I mean, you never know what will happen until you try it. Like I said, nobody here is for you. I know, but for you, to, but for, you to, for you to get back up there and for me to have to choose between another girl and you night after night, I don't want to put you through no more pain like that. I don't want you to get hurt in here. So you're just basically saying that you don't want me to come back? Mm-hmm. OK. We'll always be friends, you know? Like, we'll always have a friendship. Like, no matter what, you can date Bigfoot, and I'm still going to love you. You're still going to be my crazy ass, Ray. You still, you still going to be my buddy, my homie, and, you know, I'm still going to look out for you. All right, y'all, welcome back to the For the Love of Ray J, part two, exclusive edition with me, your boy. All right, look. You guys know how important family is to me. And the girls met everyone from my sister to my friends. But what you didn't see was when the girls met my parents. Waiting for my mom then to get here. Mm. It's quiet now. Mm -hmm. I can hear the crickets now. 
Do y'all feel good about me and my parents? It's all good? Like, cold as hell. Cool? Um, not really. Give me your top three, Sonia. I don't have a top three. Give me a top three, Sonia. Please, mama. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, man. Lord have mercy. Now, I know my mom sometimes can be a little intimidating, so this could be interesting. Hello. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? I've been going to school, mm -hmm. and my focus now is just to, like, finish my nursing program, because that that's, like, my biggest thing. And yeah. Ms. Barry? I am, um, well, I'm a mom, mm -hmm. so I have my two kids, and um, I'm a realtor. That's great. Yeah. Career women. So, yes. I like that right. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get it right. I'm trying to make it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I know y'all want to talk to the girls alone. I know you do. Mm -hmm. So, let's, let's get that popping. And then okay. when y'all finish, y'all just switch it up. You know what I mean? We'll be back. I'm going to give y'all some time. Okay. And I'll be back. What do you see with you and Ray? I know he has a new song out right now, so he's going to be out a lot, especially with, like, the young crowd. Are you a jealous kind of person? No, not at all. I think all women, to a certain extent, are jealous to a certain degree. You're platinum friends? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that we're friends. I mean, I didn't really come here to make friends. I came here for your son. And my focus is completely on Ray. I mean, I've developed some really strong feelings for him. Here. You think it would be because you, you are, uh, uh, you know, as far as age is concerned? I think I'm a little bit more mature. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I don't have to try hard to impress his parents. I'm going to be me. So how do your kids feel about this? My kids are excited for me. They want me to be happy. Miss Barry. Oh, I guess Miss like Sonia wants to talk to me. So okay. it was nice talking well, to you. I'm talking Sonia. with you, too. <laughs> Where are your family from? Um, they're from here. You think about being from L.A. get you to kind of like one up on the girls? Um, pretty much. Right. I think so, because I already... I know everything, and you guys look exactly like. No, we don't look exactly. You guys look like a lot. I can it see it. Flipped. Yep. I bet it. I mean, it makes me feel good sometimes. So it's impossible. I want to look like you when I get your age. It's, it's true. I, do. I just need to show Ray's parents that I'm the right one for him, and Miss Barry definitely is not. How do you feel about Ray? <sighs> Miss Sonia. You gotta look me right here. I know. Right here. I know. <laughs> Are you about to make me cry? I can't Why? Do, do you cry a lot? I don't, but this has been like really emotional. Don't cry. Uh, but I still want an answer. I know. I'm getting to it. <laughs> I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell her that I am in love with her son, only because I don't want to come off like the crazy chick, like this weirdo. I feel like I'm falling in love with him, so. It was very scary at first, and yeah. now I'm just like, you know what? I can't have love and fear and can't grow in the same place. So I don't want to be afraid of what I feel for him. So I just want to Well, you shouldn't be. But the fact that you have a 14-year-old son, mm -hmm. that bothers me a little. Mm -hmm. And I would wonder how would he and Ray get along. My son is a very open person, very caring person, and uh, I think that they would be just fine. So I want to talk to y'all before, you know, okay. before it get too late. I did. All right, my parents talked to both of the ladies. Now it's time for me to get their thoughts. Hopefully they can help me see something that I'm not seeing, you know, because I need help. And that's why I brought my parents in, because those are the people that I can trust the most. So how y'all feel about the girls? Let's start with, um, let's start with Miss Barry. How you, how you feel about Miss Barry? I'm passing on to your dad. Pops? No, don't pass it on to me, honey. Come on, you guys. I need your <laughs> help. I like both as people that you can meet and go out here and there and have a good time. What about somebody that I can be with, and, you know? No. No for Miss Barry? My concern for you would be dealing with her 14-year-old son. He has a father. It's going to come a time when you're going to be told, guess what? You're not my daddy? That's right. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I think that um, you got a real, real, real strong 
decision to make about that. I, I definitely feel that you are mature enough. Thank you, Pops, for feeling like my maturity is there. Oh, well, what are you trying to say? <laughs> so what are you trying to say? Thank you, I'm Pops. trying to look after you, buddy. I appreciate that. I'm that trying you to look. feel like mentally yeah. that I can trust me yeah. with the situation. Oh, yeah. Ma, you what can, was you saying? Yeah, what? I'm trying to save you a lifetime, OK? <laughs> Right, I mean, you could bring probably a no. hundred folks up in here, and every single time it'll be enough. They are just not for you, Ray. Welcome back to For the Love of Ray J's exclusive special. Ray, I mean, you could bring you know probably a hundred no. folks up in here, and every single time it'll be enough. All right, so my parents just met with the ladies, and getting my mom and dad's opinion is very important to me, especially since my mom don't like any girl I bring around. No? I'm not saying no because they're just terrible people. They are just not for you, Ray. Pops, what you think about platinum? About platinum? Yeah. Ray, I just, wait, let me just answer before Pops. This Hold on, but like, no, no, you, you got a you got to Come on, mom, I'm going to give you back your turn. Okay, you gonna get your turn? Okay. Let me get, let me okay. get, let, <laughs> let me get. I'm just saying, because your pops, your pops no, is I not know. the one that has but to listen me, to I you know, when you talk. I know, but let me, let me get pops' opinion. <laughs> pops is, pops, <laughs> pops, tell me what, tell me what's up. She's feeling her way. I figure. She's finding her way. No, let me talk. Let, let pops get it, let pops get his tears in. She's L.A. And you yeah. remember that. Wait, hold yeah. up. Yeah. You never gave me my chance yeah, to talk. Yeah, you didn't give me your arm. It's all in But I'm on, I'm on track now. Pops, give me your final. Either choice that you make is going to be the right choice. That's not a choice. I appreciate will you, that. Will you well, you got to appreciate that, what he look, says. Look, Mama, I appreciate what Pop what said I, because that's how Pop felt. But, but, I yeah, appreciate what you said, you don't too. You say that to me. You I appreciate what both of y'all said. What? That sounds like a good night <laughs> song. <laughs> no, I just don't think I've got my point across <laughs> well enough yet because I'm, I don't want to get going through this. I really don't. Listen, I just want to make it really that's clear. Just, I think that both of those ladies are... I, I like their character for what I saw. With Platinum, she's more fun. You, you can relax more with her. I think Miss Berry is a little bit more experienced because she's older. So therefore, she's, you know, she's been out there a little bit longer. Look at the pros and cons. Pray about it. And whatever decision you make, you make it with your heart and go all the way. All right, I was glad to get my parents' thoughts. Give me a pound. Mom, dad, uh, good luck. Appreciate that. And I know moms is always going to be overprotective of me. That's how she's always been, and that's how she always will be. And I got love for her. Love you, mama. Remember, Ray, right. I've been knowing you for 28 years now. 28 years. I'm not wrong yet. All right. All right. OK. Bye. 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 I've been looking for a girl that's going to be the right fit for me. And you know what I learned? So much about what kind of person I need in my life. Platinum and Miss Berry, they both bring something to my life that I feel is missing. And I feel something that I need. I want to be happy. You are happy. When you're around me. Every day I want to see your pretty face. And every day I want to feel your warm embrace. Especially when the skies are gray. It's the blue. You know, Platinum connects with the person I am now. And Miss Berry connects with the person that I'm going to be. And this decision is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm looking for the perfect girl for me. And at this time, I don't want to make the wrong decision. 